Welcome to this video tutorial about voice over IP where I'm going to show you how to install the codec G729 for, for free. Okay, uh, first I pasted all the steps you need to follow on this Word file and you're going to find it in the description. Okay, um, the main thing you need to know about G729 that this compression codec allows you to optimize uh, the audio quality uh, in case you have less bandwidth so let's go to the practice okay uh, here I'm using CentOS 64-bit asterisk server uh, in a virtual environment so I prefer to take hand with SSH to manipulate the server console okay Let's log in with root account. Okay. First thing, we need to check if we have already uh, an old version of uh, G729 installed on our server or not. And this is stored under, or you can check it under USR lib64 asterisk modules here all the codec are stored so to check if we have any G729 installed here let's type ls minus ltr and with the grep command let's look for anything containing G729 so we do have here a file named format but it's not the codec file, so we don't have G729 codec installed. But just do not delete this file. That's all you need to know about this. Okay. Let's go back to the root. Let's get inside the CLE prompt command. And let's type port show translation to check again if the codec is installed or not so no as you can see here it's empty so the codec is not installed that's fine okay to make sure uh, I'm going to test the call with IBIM clients we have two Windows 7 clients right here and I'm going to force the IBIM to use only G729 like you see here in audio codecs the enabled ones are only G729 and in the second here also we do have only or I enable it only G729 okay let's test the code okay this is 8008 let's go to 8006 okay it shows not acceptable here and this is totally normal because we don't have G729 installed yet on our asterisk server as you see here okay let's go and install this codec uh, first like I mentioned it in the word file in the second step we need to check some CPU and asterisk informations in order to get the correct download link for that let's type uname minus a and we can see here that we are using 64-bit operating system that's the first information uh, now let's show uh, the processor info and as you can see here we are using Intel Core with SSE4 flag and this is all what we need to do so SSE4 core and 64-bit operating system okay now we need to get 
the download link. You go to the website asterisk.hosting.lv You choose the asterisk version you are using. Okay, um, before that, I forgot to check or to show you how to check the asterisk version. So let's get inside. Uh, okay, you don't need to get inside the CLE command pro. Uh, you need just to type asterisk minus V and here we go. We are using asterisk 1.8.23 on CentOS 5. Okay, so now you just need to click on asterisk.8, 1.8, and scroll down among all these download links. Just look for GCC4. In my case, my operating system supports GCC4 so it will be this link. no no it's not this one it's this one SSE4 core 2 64 bit with GCC4 just copy the link address and go back to the command line and put it and type wget paste the link and hit enter it will not take too much time to download and here we go the link the package is saved already but I made a mistake because I downloaded the package the package under uh, the root so okay if I take ls yes it's here okay this is not a big deal you can just remove that Redownload it so codec G729. Okay, check again. So it's not there. Let's go inside USR uh, lib64 asterisk and modules and let's redownload the link. The package, I mean. So, oh, what? Oh, uh, I pasted the wrong one. Um, I need to recopy the link. Um, uh, okay, so this one. Copy the link. Okay, and here we go. We download it again in the correct location under modules and let's type ls minus ltr left g729 and here we go we got the downloaded package right here okay so here we need to do uh two things rename the file and give the root as it is the owner of the file all the needed permission so let's rename it with mv command codec g 79 okay and let's choose a simple name like codec g729.so that's it okay it's really okay it's fine we do have codec g729.so and we need to give boot all the needed permissions here. Let's type chmod777 and name That's it. We issue the command ls and here we go. Root have all the needed permission read write and execution on the codec g729. Is this all we need? I don't think so, because if we go back and check if the codec is installed or not, let's take full screen to get the matrix, and like you see here. G729 is not installed. Since we are not seeing any numerics here, that means that the codec is not installed yet. So 
what we need to do simply restart asterisk service once done the codec will be installed let's go back inside the CLE from command with asterisk minus r and that we should be in a code show translation and here we go the codec is well installed but is this all no if we try to make a call one okay let's recall the extension 8006 not acceptable here we are missing something okay so the only thing we need to add yes and it shows us not compatible codecs not accepting this offer simply because the zip configuration file of asterisk does not support or does not know already that our peers are using g729 so what we need to do is to go to asterisk zip configuration file and we edit it with nano and scroll down till you get hello and we need to allow that's me that means enable g729 codec both of the lines that means we load or enabled g729 in zip configuration since our peers i mean the ibeam phones you uh, are using zip so we need to allow the compression codec G729 in the zip configuration file. Control X to save. Yes, and let's restart asterisk service one more time. And go back to check if this is or what we did is correct or not. And this is fine. It's ringing. It's ringing here. If we check the CLE command prompt to see what's going on, uh, let's hang up and we call again. Yes, it's ringing, and if we check here, that's that's good. SIP 8006. It's dialing to 8008 or the opposite. If 8008 is calling 8006 and it's ringing right here. Okay, so I hope that uh, someone will find this helpful. Um, if you like the video just press thumbs up and subscribe and share the video and uh, I'm going to upload more videos showing more tricks about asterisk mm, probably I'm going to show how to connect two distant uh, sites and communicate them through asterisk and uh, probably I'm going to upload other videos about uh, connecting Cisco IP phones which supports SCCP with asterisk you know so it's in combination between open source and closed source solutions uh, so that's all for this video I hope you like it and uh, see you next time bye bye